Hi guys, it's time for an installation in organizing your sewing room. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to organize your sewing machine needles. I'm just going to talk you through how I organize mine. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to sort through. So I had some of these needle cases that only had um, one or two left in them. So I decanted the needles and I put them into the specific case. So for the ones where I had the 90s, because I tend to sew with cottons and cotton poplin, so I tend to use the 70s and the 80s a lot. So I had a lot of the 90s, so I put all of them in a 91 and then any leftovers that I had I had to change the label on the case to say that this is all 90s because these are all um, size 90s so that's uh, the first thing so just by doing this alone I've managed to get rid of these extra cases that were just taking up space okay the next thing that I did was to use these little rubber bands that I normally use on my uh, kids' hair when I do their hair into plaits. And I gripped them together. So these are my jeans and they're all together. Um, my stretch are all together like this. These are all of my ball points. And the idea is that they don't get mixed up um, during the process of uh, sewing. And what I do is I'll only have one out, whichever one that I'm using. So in, it will most likely be a universal one. That's the only one that won't be tallied up with any of its neighbors. So the ones that are only one of each, I keep them together. So I've here got top stitching needle and embroidery, leather, and these assorted sharps that I've never actually used. Um, yeah. Haven't gotten around to sewing with leather embroidery needle. That was more a triumph of uh, hope over reality. But I'll keep them. And so I just like to keep them like that. Voila. And then they go in there. All of the universal are sorted except for one. The cassettes will get tallied up together just like that and that will go there and then the next ones are these ones that are very specific where you've got the size 70 so I've got the whole range of sizes from um, so I've got the 70 and I'm just going to arrange them in order and I know that with this stack that it goes from 70, 80, 90 to 100 Take it over like that. So I'm putting all the heavy assorted with the 90s as well. So this is the one that I had to change the label on because I've only got the 90s. And I'd rather have one caddy with a corrected label rather than having two extra cassettes um, hanging about. So the heavy assorted goes together. Now it is fiddly little elastic band and goes there and then there we go and this doesn't get anywhere near as messy as when these are loose and flying around and I've got my assorted floating around and this is why I'm organizing my sewing cave because it's actually raining and I now have to close my attic door and there we have it um these are ready to go into the drawer nice and neat and no matter how much shaking around they will stay in place and now moving on to that miscellaneous drawer until i see you next time guys happy sewing bye